Just hung up the phone tonight. Call me, tell her that you come here home intoxicated. What's up you guys? So we're gonna jump right into this video. The new products that I have today are the NARS the Soft Matte Complete Foundation. I've been wanting to try this NARS foundation for a while. This is just one of many that I wanna try. I also wanna try the Fenty Beauty. But this is the NARS here and this is in the shade Medium Deep 5 Marquises. And I hope that this works out for me cause I kinda just eyeballed it when I was at the makeup store. So to go with my NARS foundation, I do have NARS concealer that I'm gonna be trying. Now I have tried this NARS concealer before, but I did not like the consistency of it. I don't like it, so I don't use it. But I figured that with the NARS foundation, I might get a different outcome. So I don't know, we're gonna be trying it out. But first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows really quick. And then I'm going to come back. I got a brow tutorial on my channel already. So I'm about to do my brows real quick, you guys. And I'll be back. It's my first time doing a video in natural light. So I hope it looks good for y'all. But my eyebrows are done. So I'm about to go straight in with some... Why am I having brain farts? I'm going to go straight in with some primer. This is the Maybelline Mattifying Primer. The No Pore Zone Mattifying Primer. And... I'm not big on primer, like I'm not the biggest on it. Like I don't even use it half the time. But for the sake of this video, I am because I do want to teach you guys correctly. But coming from a makeup artist, primer is not mandatory. It's not. Like it's all in the technique. Like the products don't matter. Like when it all boils down, it's all in the technique and it's all in the flick of the wrist. And knowing your color wheel and knowing your undertones, like honestly primer if you do the makeup right it's gonna last when i took olivia's song makeup class she told us she don't even use primer like at all and i've done so many faces without using primer including myself and nothing like the makeup still stays now i do feel like the primer does give like the extra layer but it's not mandatory if you get what i'm saying so you just want to make sure the primer is pressed in the face really good and I'm using my foundation brush. I've used this for foundation as well. The name is off of it, but this is a real techniques brush. And I think it's called like just the foundation brush. But you want to make sure that primer is pressed in your face really good. A cute little fan in my makeup kit. Just to kind of speed up the drying process. I use this like when I'm putting glue on lashes to, to make the lash glue dry faster. Or when after putting on concealer because sometimes concealer could take a minute to sit so this just comes in handy you know instead of it cuts out that wait time like we want to go really fast when working or at least I do especially being a makeup artist because the faster you work the more clients you can get in and the more clients you can get in and the more money you can make so that's important but now we're going to be going straight in with the NARS soft matte complete foundation medium deep five foundation yeah i hope this matched me i have not tested this on my skin i just been out of me but cross our fingers okay i don't even know how the consistency or of the foundation is or anything i'm just gonna put a little bit in my makeup pan and is this full coverage it's a complete foundation i don't know what that means it doesn't specify if it's full coverage or not. Maybe it's the end of the box. I don't have time to read it. We about to find out if it's full coverage, okay? Because I don't got time to read it. I'm trying to catch the sunlight, baby girl. I'm just going to take it. Perfect shade. Oh, OMG. This matches my skin so good. It's so warm. And I love how it just kind of gliding on there. Oh, my God. Yeah, then it's like... Let me tell y'all what I like about this foundation. It's, it's, it has to be full coverage because the way that this is looking like skin, this literally is looking like a second layer of skin. 
But then again, it's like, oh my God, I hope my camera went zoomed out. This is looking like a second layer of skin, like a blemish free second layer of skin. That's what it's giving. I don't know, I might look a little orange on camera, but I'm not orange in real life. I'm not orange in real life. I might not even look orange on camera. But then again, I could look very orange. But, like, I don't get scared when it comes to makeup. I'm a makeup artist, baby. I do this. So I don't feel like it ain't nothing that can go wrong because makeup ain't nothing to be scared of. Like, you can fix it. You can. It might be a little time for something to have to go back. But you can always fix your makeup. There's no reason to chill. That's why I be telling my clients, like, when I get done, I be like, is it anything you want me to fix? Anything you want me to change? You know, they be like, no, because you know I'm like, go. <laughs> so go ahead and take the same brush that I used for my um, primer and start pressing this foundation into the skin. You want to be, I know it look like I'm hitting my face really hard, but I'm really not. You want to be super light-handed when applying your foundation and you kind of just want to let the brush do work for you you don't want to do too much like just let the brush do what it's supposed to do because if that's the case you could have applied it with your hands right like just let the brush be be great looking kind of orange now hold up i wonder does it oxidize now i'm a little too orange now stop playing Stop playing with me, Nars. I'm gonna look at a little orange, a little concern for orange. But one thing for sure, this foundation is gonna run right on. Okay, so as far as the consistency of the foundation, I do like it, but I feel like very concerning. I feel like I look orange, like more orange um, than I might be able to manage. Like, and it's not oxidized. Like, it's like, I don't know what it is. Like, it's just a little too orange. I don't know if maybe I should have got a different shade. Because I already feel orange when I look right here in the mirror. Then when I look at the camera, baby, I look like an oompa loompa. But I don't know, girl. We about to just see it through. Got to see it through my way. I don't know, sometimes with makeup, you really just got to trust the process and see how it'll turn out. So when it comes to bottom lashes, you just really, it's all about being careful. Like, you got to really be careful. Like, I'm going to want to look up and get right underneath those lashes. Like, for one, your bottom lashes shouldn't just be laying on your skin. So there is like a little space. And basically, you just got to be really careful going there. You see that little weird thing? Whew, why am I out of breath? Don't be like me. Don't be like me. Be and out of breath. Now, what I didn't like about this concealer when I first used it was the consistency of it. It's not full coverage to me. It's not. And it's like when I was blending it out, it wasn't staying in place. It was like moving all around. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. But um, my theory is that the NARS concealer will do better with the actual NARS foundation. And I'm hoping that this concealer balances out the orangey tones in my face. Because what I'm going to do is contour with the cool brown instead of a warm brown. So just to kind of cool my face up a little bit because I'm a little heated up right here. I feel a little orange. So. And I'm also going to highlight down my nose. Ooh, so you better take your time. Me. So I remember last time. I'm not going to highlight right here on top of my lip, which I usually would, but not today, because I got a little mustache trying to come in, and we not trying to draw no attention to that girl, okay? So we're not gonna highlight right there. We need, we don't need attention drawn there. We wanna draw the attention away. I'm going to be going in with another NARS concealer that I've been had in my kit. This is 1.5. The first NARS concealer that I just put on, this shade was two. 
it's medium dark caramel too this this the one that i'm about to put on is medium dark surged i don't know how to say it i'm not going to mess it up but it's 1.5 okay that's the number so this is a tad bit lighter than the first one and i'm just going to add a little bit of that right here just because i kind of want like a brighter under eye i want my under eyes to really stand out I'm let me see use my fan a little bit Investing my money in all type of sh ownership. Draw my rose work through the hood that look good like right on. This is not your average makeup tutorial, baby. Y'all be lit, okay? This, I hate, I can't not stand a boring YouTuber. Like, I don't care. Yes, we come to YouTube to learn, but baby, make it entertaining. Make learning fun, okay? Wait a minute. Radio oh, I thought I was missing the fresh. I was from the state. But yeah, I think we good to go. I think we can start blending this concealer out. So I'm gonna start with my forehead and my chin. Then we're gonna go under the eyes, okay? talk on this part because I be trying to focus and I'm really trying to as I'm blending this out uh oh as I'm blending this out I'm really trying to see how I'm feeling about the concealer I think I'm gonna give it a little hmm this might be given it might be given okay so when it comes to bottom lashes the trick to working around your bottom lashes you see how I was blending this out with this brush. Mind you, this is the same brush that I use for every step so far. I use this foundation brush for primer, foundation, and I've used this to blend out my concealer. Now, I'm going to go in with my smaller brush. And this is just a buffing brush. And it looks like that. Any type of, any type of dense little buffing brush, you want to go in with that. And use this brush to get underneath your lashes. So it's gonna look kind of funny when I record, but I'm about to show y'all how I do it. For me, blending out my concealer underneath my eye, I'm going to probably do like voiceover on that little segment. But I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. I feel kind of just looking. I do not like this concealer. I don't like it. I do not like the NARS concealer. Like, it look okay, but it's just like, it's like you got to be really careful when you blending it because as you pat it, you take, it's like it takes it away, if that makes sense. Like, when I'm patting like this, like, it's like if you pat too long or if you pat too much, it's going to start wiping away. Like, I don't know. It's so weird. 
Like, I gotta go watch some reviews on the Nars Casilla today because I can't be the only one. Like, if I go watch some reviews and people say they love it or something like that, like, I'm gonna have to see how they use me because I cannot. Like, I thought with me trying it with the Nars Foundation, it'll be better. I don't know, but I just don't like it. Like, and it don't look bad or nothing, but I'm just not the biggest fan. I'm not the biggest fan. So, I feel like I haven't did a cream contour in a very long time. Like, I ain't cream contour in so long. Like, yeah, it's been a while. Like, because that's just a step that I feel like we can go without. Like, we can just powder the contour. Why do we have to do both? You know? But I'm going to do it today and see if I notice a difference. Since I am, like, a better makeup artist now, I might actually see the difference. So I'm going to take this. Elf Concealer. This is the Elf 16 Hour Camo Concealer. Remember, I don't have a steady hand. And this is the shade Rich Ebony. But I'm just going to be cream contouring my nose and my cheeks. So. That's crazy. This feels so funny, y'all, because I don't cream contour. I don't know. I hope this concealer that I chose is not too dark, though. But to blend out my cream contour, I'm going to go back in with that same buffing brush. I reuse brushes throughout my whole makeup routine. Let's see how I'm going to go about this. I think I'm going to, like... Maybe I shouldn't have went this dark. Oh my gosh. Like. <laughs> it's so harsh. Oh my god. I barely even contour no more. Talking about a cream contour. <gasps> I'm getting so irritated because it's it's all going wrong. Okay, let's shake big. So let me go back in with let me go back in with a little concealer on the sides of my nose. You know. Then it's like the concealer underneath my eyes going away. I do not like this concealer, bro. I don't like it. <sighs> yes, I'm angry. Cause I'm tired of cream. Like after the liquid, all right now, Let's wrap it up. Time for powder. So I'm gonna be going in with my girl Laura Mercier. This is it, the translucent powder, and this is the shade Honey. And I'm gonna be using her to set this concealer. So starting underneath my eyes, of course, you wanna look up while you dealing with the bottom lashes, especially. I feel like you should look up anywho so that your texture isn't locked in. <sighs> Every time I get on camera, I want to have a bad makeup day, but not today, baby. We gon' we guys to see it through. Okay, so you just want to kind of press that powder in. And we just want to make sure that we set both eyes. I mean, we're setting all the concealer. That we just put on. We're gonna set that. This is probably my favorite part. Like, 
smoothing out the under eye i love a good clean smooth under eye i really feel like they place a big part in your finished product and i just love powders i feel like i have more control over them Ooh! and they're not as messy as liquids so i'm gonna set my chin because i put concealer there and then i'm gonna set my forehead because i put concealer there and yeah i know y'all probably can't see the actual concealer on camera but y'all should be like seeing my face smoothed out okay my face don't look as orange as it did you now that we've cooled it off now to set the remainder of my face i'm gonna go in with my fenty beauty this is the shade Nutmeg. This is the shade Nutmeg. And this is like the same shade as my skin. And I'm just going to be taking some of this powder. Want to get your brush really saturated in that powder. And then you want to set everywhere that you have foundation. So everywhere that you didn't apply concealer tool you want to set it with powder anytime you use a cream or a liquid product you have got to set it with a powder girl now that we have our entire face set you can really stop right here and add your lip gloss and go on ahead about your day because i look fine don't it? right but anyways me i like to add structure to my face like i like my face to look snitched poo so I'm going to proceed to contour my face. I'm more of a powder contour girl, blush, blush and bronzers. I really don't even care for just contour. But anyways, we're going to go in with the Morphe. And this is the AR palette. I showed y'all these in my last video. Toe up from the flow up, but it get the job done. I'm going to be taking the this shade here. It's like the second darkest shade in there. And I'm going to like really dig my brush in there and get it saturated. Then I'm going to like really dust it off as well. Okay. Because you don't want all that powder on your face. So if you don't know where to contour, go like this. Do that and go like above. So like when you go like this. See that line right there? Put your contour above that. Because you want to lift your face up. So, hmm, but go above that. When you really get in the habit of doing makeup, you're not going to have to do that. But, because you can just kind of see. But that's my tip. I really still do it sometimes. Like, if I just got a client and I can't really tell what's the best place to contour their face, I tell them to go like. Mm-hmm. These days, I don't really contour my head and all that. I just don't see the point. I don't. Like, now, my clients, I will. But when they come to me, like, I just don't be want to do the most for real, for real. I don't have my blush palette. It's at the sweet, and I'm upset, okay? Because Juvia's place is that girl. <sighs> but this is what we going to do. This little palette right here got a little pink shade, and we just gonna see how that look on me. I've never really done pink on me. I'm more of an orange blush girl, you know? So to clean my contour up, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to go in with my Laura Mercier. And I did this step in one of my makeup tutorials before. This is the same powder, except this time we're going in with medium deep instead of honey. So of course, hence the name, this one is going to be a lot darker and deeper than honey. And I'm going to use this to contour, clean up my contour underneath here. 
because I do want to keep my under eye bright. And it's just, just gonna really clean up my contour so that it don't look all messy, okay? I don't know if it's just my camera or what, but I feel like we losing sunlight, so I need to hurry up. But guess what, girl? We are done. This is my makeup routine right here. Brows, foundation, a lot of blush clean contour you know that's that's my style that's that's me so i'm gonna take foundation brush yeah i know the drill and i'm just gonna wipe this off i'm gonna use this one since it still got a little powder because i want to kind of clean my blush right here so i'm just gonna wipe this down into my cheeks so that it all is kind of like grating it and you won't see no harsh lines both sides like you see that harsh line where my blood starts smoothing this out into that is gonna blend that line out okay you want to keep the illusion going makeup is the illusion it's gonna dust this powder off my cheeks and you want to do this very thoroughly and if you take your time with it and just not rushy. It. It's gonna come off. Like the key to this, to to cleaning up your contour, is just like using the right shades and not leaving it on too long. So now this is just so cute. Like I'm giving skin. The pink blush is actually cute, girl. So yeah, we in the game. Now we just got to do our lips. I got some. I got some lip balm on, so I'm about to take this off because I do got a, a new lip product that I want to try. I'm so excited. So excited. But before we do that, I'm going to spray my face with my rose water just so that we can really get a good milk going on. Like, it looks gradient and soft already, but that rose water is what's going to really melt it into the skin. All right, girl, I'm big. So... Unfortunately, I had to do away with the natural sunlight and switch to my ring light because the natural sunlight was too hot on my camera and it kept cutting off because it was too hot. It was saying that, you know, the temperature is too much to allow your camera to cool off. But girl, we got to finish doing that makeup. We don't have time for that. So I hope y'all enjoyed my little natural sunlight tutorial. But for these lips, get ready for the ring light. We back to the basics. Okay, so let me just say something real quick. Tell me why I thought I ain't had no MAC powders, but I forgot that I went to the MAC store the other day. If y'all watch my vlog, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to upload my vlog before this um, makeup tutorial, y'all going to see that I went to the MAC store. So I really could have had some powders to set my face with, but I still look good. I still look good, baby. But I got the NC50 and the NC42. I mean, I use all these and all shades. I'm just trying to keep buying new shades and keep building this up. Like, I want this all the way from white girls all the way to the deepest of the deepest skin. Like, I love these powders. Okay. Okay, but girl, before we get into these lips, let me introduce my new lip product. I hope y'all can see that. This is the Too Faced Lip Injection Maximum Plump. So, they have a lot of lip glosses this well this is actually a, li a lip plumper it says extra strength instant and long-term lip plumper so this is actually meant to make your lips look really full 
which I'm excited because I got like kind of small lips. I hope my lips don't be feeling funny though. That's the only thing I'm worried about. It says you'll see and feel results instantly as the advanced volumizing formula dramatically hydrates, nourishes, and visibly plumps the lips intensely, immediately, and over time. So inappropriately intense, only a true plumping addict can handle it. So I don't know, that made me kind of nervous because what? 98% said this plumper left lips looking revitalized after one week. Yeah, this this better. I don't know, baby. This better not hurt me now. We a little note. Too Faced lip injection, maximum plump. And is this directions? Cause come on now, it does. What is this? No, you may experience a slight to intense tingle. Apply only within perimeter of lips. If applied on skin, a temporary redness may occur. If any discomfort is present, remove and discontinue use. Keep away from children. And then it said in about 20 more languages. That's scary. I don't know if I should use this girl. Because what's in it? I don't know. Then it's like... Should I put it on by still? I don't know. We about to just go for it. If some bad happen, y'all gonna be here to witness it. So, this what y'all get. I did spray my face with my rose water. So, I'm gonna do that really quick. Woo! Okay. I did buy me some more um, chestnut lip pencils. I bought one for my personal kit. One for my client kit. I'm, I'm trying to build up my own kit at home so that when I do want to do my makeup at home, you know, I ain't got to pack up a bag from the suite and all that good stuff. So I'm going in with chestnut lip liner, of course. This is my holy grail. I will not use any other brown lip liner. I mean, other ones do work, don't get me wrong, but this one is just like the best. And this is in chestnut, like $19, $18, $19, probably like $20 for it. And they last a long time. Better than any other lip pencils. They don't break and they're so creamy and they go on so good. apply my lip liner and overline my lips my lips are already be like real plump so girl i'm nervous but i'm gonna go in with my anastasia beverly hills this is the shade pure hollywood it's a liquid lipstick just like a really pretty new pink i'm gonna put this on pretty lip combo because all my clients love my lips everybody love my lip combos the secret to a fire lip combo is product control like you have to control how much liner is on how much uh liquid lipstick or lip gloss is on like you gotta have product control when doing your lips i really like using those disposable lip ones I'm about to go ahead and put some of this lip gloss on because my lips chapped. I'm scared to use this, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. It don't really add gloss. Okay, so this is my first time using a lip plumper. They tingling. <laughs> this is my first time using a lip plumper. Yeah, my lips are tingling. I don't think I like this. Oh my God, bro. It hurt.
Oh my god. Well, bro. Yeah, that hurt. Like. Oh my gosh. Yeah, don't be like me, stupid. I think I'm using this wrong. I think you're supposed to use this when you don't got on lip product. Like, I think you're supposed to use this when you're really trying to get your lips plump. Like, I'm thinking it's just a lip gloss that's going to make them look, you know, juicy. I don't, I don't think I'm using it right. So, now I'm thinking that lip plumper is not meant to be worn on top of other lip products. I was the crash dummy though, so yeah, I know not to make the same mistake as me. So we, yeah, girl, cause that's too much, and I ain't even put that much on yet. So we just gonna try that out when I don't got on no more lip product, cause I don't think that's for that. I think I just used it completely wrong. So don't be like me. <laughs> so I'm about to go in with my morph. And this is in the shade Froze. But this is just like a really cute combo to me. So cute. Um, I'm about to put these on for gloss because, baby, that was an itty feel. Now, this is a gloss, baby. This is a gloss because that stuff right there, I need to do my research before I just go in. The makeup stuff, buying stuff. I had a Sephora gift card, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why do it look like my lips getting plump already? Yeah. If, if they just gave me instant lip fillers. Yeah, my lips are plump. I don't care what nobody say. My lips plump, baby. My lips is juicy. My lips not juicy. I ain't got no big... Wait! Like, my top lip... Wait! <laughs> oh, my God. I'm really tripping out. Yeah, y'all gotta excuse me, but... I'm... Look, this is something right here. I'm gonna do my research on this. There's something else. But don't try that at home. Please don't. But now that we have our face done, we just want to go in and set. I'm going to be setting today with my Urban Decay All Nighter Mattifying Setting Spray. This is my holy grail. I have the mattifying kind and I have the dewy kind for my clients with dry skin. And this do what they need to do, baby. Them girls makeup be on. So, they said it, not me. I never call myself the goat. I leave that up to the people. So, you know. I just gonna spray our face. Woo! We are done. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. As you can see, that look was super easy to do. The NARS concealer did end up looking good on me. Y'all know I was a little nervous at first because it was looking kind of orange. I thought I was going to be looking all like an oompa loompa. But like I told y'all, when it comes to makeup, uh, I said when it comes to makeup, when it comes to makeup, you really have to trust the process. Like, okay, it's the process. And usually I just trust your technique and trust that your process will work. But if you guys want to see more makeup tutorials, make sure that you subscribe to my channel, as I said in the beginning, and click that notification bell so that you're notified every time I post. I am going to start doing client tutorials. I have been getting a lot of requests about client tutorials and doing makeup on clients but I'm just trying to make sure that I have the proper equipment to do that because I don't want to be trying to record it and I don't have the right stuff and now I'm slowed down for the day so the only thing that I'm waiting on as far as client tutorials is to know that I have my stand and I have an extra battery like it's just a lot of stuff that goes into making these videos especially making quality videos I do not want to produce anything else on my phone I don't care how good the phone I like I like quality and yeah, I like quality. So quality is what the girls are going to get. But hey though, like in if I tweak out now, make sure y'all subscribe to my channel and make sure y'all watch every video I upload. I do upload a video every Monday. 
sometimes I might upload videos in between then you know give y'all a little extra a little razzle dazzle but for sure you will get a video from me every Monday this is my mission you guys so I hope you guys enjoyed and the sun has gone down and your girl is about to go deliver some orders so yeah meet me on my vlog you guys I'll catch you guys in the next makeup tutorial